if this is or was if this is or was a lymph node, you might have a hard time recognizing that because it doesn't look like a normal lymphoid node, lymph node. You can see a lot of lymphoid cells. You can see a lot of soft tissue, fibrous tissue, and that surrounding this lymphoid area. But quite frankly, I'm going to have to take this as a lymph node on blind faith. If it was or if it is, what you do see within it, as well as in the soft tissues which are surrounding it, is a significant uh, inflammatory response. You can see areas of necrosis. You can see areas where the inflammatory cells are infiltrating soft tissues, including fat. You can see a blood vessel here. This is lymphogranuloma venarium. This is another type of granuloma, which could be centrally necrotic, and it's caused by uh, an organism called uh, chlamydia. It's a sexually transmitted disease. Uh, it's rare in this area. It's more common in some of the more tropical uh, areas of Earth. Uh, and of course, what I'm showing you here is really not diagnostic of anything. But when you get inguinal uh, adenopathy in a patient with this disease, it could be a very acute type of adenopathy. It could be granulomatous. It could show a lot of a necrosis in the center of that granuloma, like you see here. And it can extend very much out into the surround, through the castle and into the surrounding soft tissues as well. This is something you'll probably never see in your life uh, and no matter what kind of practice you do. But it's on the list as being a lymph node of um, lymphogranuloma venarium, LGV, caused by chlamydia, usually in the inguinal lymph nodes, a sexually transmitted disease. And I thank you very much.